Hey there YouTube, welcome to day 12 of uh, the 31 days of tarot challenge. You can see all the prompts in the link in the description below and you can search the hashtag to see what different tarot tubers are saying about these prompts. So for day 12, we have a question from uh, Maria Elvis Hernando. The question is, have you ever dealt with imposter syndrome in your tarot practice? I would say yes, I mean, I deal with imposter syndrome in everything and also not as much as in everything else. Um, I think one thing I really like about modern tarot and like what I have seen in the tarot community is there is a very strong feeling that tarot is for everyone and that everyone has intuition and everyone is, can be a tarot reader. Like I'm very, I feel very grateful and blessed that my introduction to tarot has very much been along those lines. Um, and that I've seen newbie or like relatively new tarot readers doing really amazing stuff in the community, go, like offering classes, um, you know, putting forward their offerings even if they haven't been doing tarot that long. And you can say what you want about that. I mean, I'm sh you know, sure some people would prefer to work with somebody who's been around a long time, but I think there's this wonderful thing about tarot that like somebody can give amazing, powerful, oh my God, readings the first time they use tarot. I mean, some people just like, they have that gift or they have something to offer in a class even though they haven't been around long. So I think that has been really inspiring and has like led me not to have as much imposter syndrome. It has felt to me like just right when I, when I do it and I don't have a lot of imposter syndrome around doing tarot readings. Now I think more so I have imposter syndrome around wanting to offer things to the tarot community. So I have considered like doing some you know, uh, write up like ebook or something, doing courses. Like I've had ideas like that. Um, I had an idea to create an Oracle deck and I feel a lot of imposter syndrome about my art cause I am not an artist. Um, and I think when it comes to any kind of public offering, I definitely feel imposter syndrome in the sense that I haven't been around that long. I know that people value my thoughts and like I know from the community that I have something to say but it's sort of like how many years do I need to read tar like do I need to create the thing this year and then artificially wait five years before releasing it so that I have more cred so that would be where I feel imposter syndrome if you enjoyed this content don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to see the remaining days of this January challenge